This is the Flash website or multimedia demonstration. We're going to start by embedding an already existing Swift file into our Launch 7 show layout. We will also create a background sound script, an on-off button to control that sound, and we'll place a video object with play buttons. OK. To create an embedded Swift file, we'll create an interactive object from a picture box. Select the box, then go to the Window menu, Interactive Palette, select the Object tab, and name your object Intro Page Swift. Choose Swift from the Object Type menu, then External Reference from the Swift option. We'll name the external reference Intro Page Swift and browse to the file located in the Swift folder in the Multimedia Show folder. Animated Logo Swift is the file we want. Click Open, then OK. Now we can preview our page from Layout, Preview, Preview Page. Next, we'll create a script for background music to play when we open the URL. From the Interactive Palette, choose the Script tab and enter a new script. Name it Intro Page Script. Select the action under Sound, Play Background. Once again, we'll grab an external reference, a sound file. Find it in the Multimedia Show folder under Sounds. BG Sound MP3 is the file. Before the sound will play, we must assign it to a page. From the interactive palette, choose Page and select Intro Page. Now, under Entry Script, select the script we just created, Intro Page Script. We'll preview to see how the script works. Now we have sound. To turn the sound on and off, we'll create a button in the master page so it's available on all content pages. Notice the Button Sound tab on the lower part of the page. Select that, and you'll find a button that's been created already. If you go to Layout, then Layout Properties, you'll see it's an interactive button layout with On-Off. Increase the scale to 500% for a closer look. In the Page Layout palette, we see that this is the On Up layout. When the music is on, you'll see this. The next one is when the music is on and the mouse rolls over. Scrolling down, we find the appearance when the music is off and the button is rolled over. Preview the button and we'll see how it works. Each one of our buttons that have been created before have been put into shared content, visible in the shared content palette. Switch back to the Multimedia Show layout and select Master Page A Show Content. Drag the button sound layout onto the page. When you drag a button object onto a layout, a button object automatically gets created in the interactive palette. Under the Object tab, if we scroll down, we can see it was named Button 5 automatically. We'll rename it Button On Off Sound. Everything else is already correct. Next, we'll create the click events for this button under the Event tab. Under User Event, We'll start with Click, Down, Off, which is the state of the button when the sound is off. Under Action, we'll choose Sound, then Play Background. Then we can select which sound to play from the hard drive, or in this case, BG Sound that we selected before, and we'll fade in one second. Next, we'll configure Click, Down, On, which is how the user can turn the music off if it is on. 
select sound and stop background sound, no fade out. Now we can preview our layout. To preview, we must be on a content page, not a master page. So we go to Layout, Preview, and Preview Layout. Hit click to enter for a content page, and let's try the button. Our next step is to create a video object as well as buttons that will control the video. First, we select a picture box, then open the Interactive Palettes Object tab to create a new interactive object. By typing in a name, we create a new object. We'll call it Video Snowboarding. Its object type is Video. We'll then select Video Type, External Reference, name the file and browse to find it. We find it in the Video folder inside the Multimedia Show folder. Pipe FLV is the file. Now we select our Play button that's already on the page. In the Interactive Palette, we see it's already named Button Video Play. It's an interactive object a button, and it's a place shared content file called Button Play. We can view the file by clicking on the tab along the bottom if we like. We've selected the button, and now we'll add an event by clicking the Event tab. We see that ClickUp is configured to play video. We can now select the video we created under the Video Object menu. Preview the page and click the button to play the video. We'll now configure the stop button in the same way. Select the stop button, which is also a shared content file. Under the interactive palette, we can see its name and that click up is set to stop video, all videos. Preview again and test the stop button.